Susan. Today I'm participating in the Margaret Miller weekly challenge and we're up to week six. And what we're supposed to do is pick a room in a home, real or imagined, find at least three images of things that could go in this room and create a collage with them. So that's what I'm gonna do. I hope y'all doing great. The room I picked is a little out of the box. I'm from Mississippi and here in the South, the porch is an extension of our home. And if we're blessed enough to have um, a front porch or a back porch, a lot of times we'll spend a good bit of time on that porch, uh, especially in the spring and fall. And um, I grew up with my my great great my great grandmother Granny. She had a, a big front porch with a porch swing, and and adults and kids both were completely covered on it. That's where we liked to be, uh, especially then. She didn't have air conditioning, so it was hot in the house, and so we all we went outside. And even though my mother-in-law, they had a little small porch, but um, when the family got together, we'd always end up outside, sitting around outside. If it was too hot where the porch is, we moved under a shade tree. But that's always been a part of the home, is the front porch. So that's what I'm gonna do. And the images I've picked is with a porch, you almost always need a couple of dogs to be on there. And I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them because they're mighty big. And on my porch, we're gonna have to have kitty cats. And these are my babies. And I love dogs. I've always been a dog person. But my three kitty cats are my babies. This is my supervisor. You may recognize her from some of my videos. I tried to get these smaller, but I didn't do a very good job of it. And that's Kit, and this is Bushy. And I've got flowers are a huge part, you know, the front porch. So let's see how I can arrange these. I may have to do like a flip out for my um, prompt. But we'll see how this goes. All right, let's see how I want to arrange these. She's the mama of these two. And she showed up one day and my husband, she got attached. He gave her he gave her some food. Well the next day she showed up and met the rest of us. And um we just all thought she was something else. Well the third day she she showed up. And she had these two with her, and they were little bitty babies. So I think she was checking us out. But this has been their home ever since. And that's Prius, Kit, Bushy. And I love these dogs, but I don't know who they are. They came from a magazine. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make that into a flip since my space is limited. I think that's a good start. So let's start gluing.
gardenias smell so good. I had a gardenia bush in my front door. It's like you walk outside and you could just, it would just smell so good. I miss not having a dog. We used to, we've had dogs. But where we live now, it's just best not to have, have them. We're renting. We wouldn't have had the Kit Kats except that um, they showed up. Those faces. All of them. I'm gonna do a little stamping. Let me see what I've got. I'll tell you what, I've got these stickers. my prompt get some washi tape. I should take this guy script. I think I'm just going to use that. Add a few things across. Page before bled, so. gonna call this done. I think this has been the most personable one. 
got my prompt. So we've got our front porch. We've got the flowers that go on just like the hydrangea there. And we've got puppy dogs and kitty cats. I like this. I hope you like it. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I hope you enjoyed this. I really had a lot of fun. I'm excited to see what next week has in store. I've enjoyed this Margaret Miller challenge. So until next time, bye y'all.